All right. Uh, welcome to our uh, next installment on uh, Office 2013, uh, Microsoft Word 2013. Uh, this week we're going to be talking about um, doing a table of contents and doing an index. Um, so just a reminder for your final project, everyone does need to have a table of contents. Not everyone is going to need an index. Uh, so if you do have a question as to whether or not you need one, please do feel free to ask me. Uh, we can. That's not a problem. <laughs> I'm glad to answer that question for you because it's not always clear. Um, so I've got some filler text here which we're going to use for uh, the indexing portion later. Um, now for a table of contents, you can always just build a manual table of contents where you can you know, type chapter 1 and put your page number. Um, so what I'm doing is typing and hitting the tab button. So you see, that's you know that's one way you can do it manually. A lot of people like to do it manually, and that's great. Feel free to do that <laughs> if that's what works for you. Um, however, uh, you can also um, build your own table of contents uh, in the references tab. Um, we have this on the far uh, left hand side of the references ribbon. Uh, we have a build your own table of contents, uh, which is awesome. Um, one thing to keep in mind though, that this is very important, is that if you're going to automate, if you're going to use this automated one, um, you actually have to use certain predefined Microsoft Word headings um, for your chapters and your any subsections you have. Uh, because otherwise Word is not going to, you know, understand how to code it. You know, it is it is a software, it's not perfect. Um, so you do actually need to have specific headings. So I'm going to, um, so this is here, I'm just going to go with heading one. <laughs> We're just going to call it chapter one. And you can see there's this navigation bar that is opened. Um, that's now putting in, that's showing me where all of my headings are. And I'm going to do a page break here. And uh, turn my heading on. Type in chapter 2. I'll do one more page break. And then, uh, oop, I lost it. <laughs> Chapter two. Sorry. Uh, there we go. One more page break, and now I'm going to put in Chapter three. Uh, so now we have our three chapters. So I'm going to go up to uh, the front, my, my, my leading page. I'm going to go into References, Table of Contents. We're just going to go with Automatic Table 1. And uh, there. So as you can see, I've put in Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3. It's right there. It followed my headings with their respective page numbers. Now, I haven't done anything special with the pagination in this one, um, but it has... Um, I'm just going to insert some page numbers just to show you what it looks like. Um, so it does have the table of contents as page one, which we would want to change in our own writing. Um, and uh, um, but it, you know, it does. It picks up that automatic pagination for you. Alright, continuing on, um, I had to go take care of my, my barking dog right there, <laughs> continuing on, um, so we've got this great automatic um, table of contents here that's all the work's basically been done for us, uh, but what happens if we change, um, so what happens if we realize, oh, I, I really need one more, one more chapter here, um, or what if I cut and change some things so one chapter gets longer than another, uh, well, let's say we're going to add a chapter four. Uh, 
Uh, one thing that uh, to keep in mind is you always have to use, so I'm using heading one for this. I need to use heading one for every heading I do. <laughs> uh, not like subheadings, but like for every chapter heading, I need to use heading one. If I switch between, say, heading one and heading two, um, it's going to confuse Word and it's not going to work right. So be sure to stick with whatever heading, be consistent. Most people have been consistent so far when they've been using the automatic headings. I'm not too concerned about that. But it is something that does need to be uh, brought up. <laughs> um, so anyway, we've added this chapter. We can see it in our navigation. So, but it's not in our table of contents. So how do we address that? Um, well, click into the table of contents and click update table. Now do we want to? Uh, now we get two options: update page numbers only, or update entire table. So in this case. Uh, we want to click update entire table. If we're updating page numbers only, that's say we've um, just added some text and now the chapters are on different pages. I'll show that in a second. So I'll click update entire table, click OK, and hey, now there's chapter 4. Um, so now I'm going to show you a situation in, in which we'd say you um, update um, page numbers only. So let's see. I'm going to go into uh, chapter 2. And I'm just going to paste a bunch of text in here um, to make it run a few pages longer than it did. So now our pagination is all screwed up because I realized chapter 2 needed to be longer. Uh, oh man, what's going to happen? Um, how do I fix this? Again, click update table, update page numbers only because we have not added any new chapters, no new headings, just new text that's thrown off our pagination. And now, we, it uh, has updated, so now we have accurate page numbers. So, um, again, not everyone likes having to use the automatic stuff, so you don't have to use it. Totally up to you. Um, what, uh, in, I, I don't care either way. Um, but this can be a very useful tool. Uh, so, um, please do at least practice it, get a feel for it. Just, just try it. You're not going to like necessarily going to like all of Word's automatic features. Um, even I don't, but they are very useful to know. So anyway.